Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Well, I'm gonna give y'all a couple of updates and then I'm gonna tell y'all a story, okay? Hold on. So, uh, I didn't make any videos this past weekend because I was working on my Patreon, uh, writing up a lot of content, organizing it, um, pre-scheduling posts to save me time later so that it would post automatically. And I am posting daily content and I do plan to keep that up. So if you're interested in it, go over to my Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash Carolina Dean. You'll also find that link in my YouTube um, thing, wherever it's at, you know where it's at, uh, with links to all my social media accounts. Um, and what I decided to do was this first week, all my content is free for everybody to see it in order to give you an idea of the type of stuff I'm posting. And I'm also planning a lot more stuff. So uh, please go over there and um, check out my Patreon and consider becoming my patron. The lowest tier is $5 a month and that's 17 cents a day. It's not a bad deal there. Um, uh, so I, and also I probably will not be making any videos this coming weekend. I don't know yet because um, I am going to be the guest on not one, but two different podcasts. Uh, the first one is on Saturday. I believe it's live. And the second one is on Sunday. I, I know that is live as well. I don't know if I could tell you who they are with right now because they're not, they haven't started promoting them. But as soon as I know that they're promoting them, I will be posting links on all my social media accounts, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. Uh, also last week, I was on, uh, he's going to be mad at me, but I can't remember the name. I think it was called Hearth Witch with uh, Pax or Jay Clark, as I know him. I did a half hour podcast. Uh, that's There's a link on my Patreon. You can go and get that. You'll see it under the free content that I've posted. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot to share with you today. On my walk on the treadmill this morning, I was thinking of content I could share with you guys because I still want to share content on my YouTube, but I'm going to be giving content to my patrons as well. And since they're paying for it, some of it just has to be exclusive. But uh, I thought I'd tell you a story or a couple of stories. Y'all know how, how I am um, about life growing up in the South in the 70s and 80s. And today, I'm going to tell you about the legend <clears throat> of Aunt Lucille. So, a little background. Lu Aunt Lucille was, is my stepfather's stepsister. So, she's technically not my aunt by blood, but she is my aunt by marriage. Um, again, I was raised by my grandparents. Uh, but uh, I do have a relationship with my mother growing up. She lived in the same town as me. She lived on the next street from where I grew up. Saw her all the time, but I was living with my grandparents. And Lucille was my stepfather's uh, stepsister. Um, the thing about Aunt Lucille, and I'm not going to show y'all a picture of her. Uh, I, got to, I happened to have two pictures of her, none of which when she was younger. But if you remember that show called Alice in the 70s, you know, Alice and Vera and Mel. Um, Lucille looked just like the character of Flo as portrayed by Polly Holiday. You know the one. Mel, kiss my grits. Remember that? She was a tall, skinny woman with a big old beehive of red hair, man-hungry, you know, like to go out honky-tonking, like to have fun. That was Aunt Lucille. Hell, they might have modeled uh, Flo after Lucille for a while. As a child, I looked up at her and I saw, I thought she was Flo from um, uh, Alice. Uh, anyway, mm, so one day, Aunt Lucille come pulling up in front of the house with her daughter, little Debbie, and um, my mama was in the kitchen making dinner and she turned off the stove real quick and uh, took all the pots off the top stove and put them in the oven, hiding them. And I said, I thought we was fixing to eat. 
excuse me. And she said, well, we will after your Aunt Lucille leaves. And I was like, oh, shit. So anyway, Aunt Lucille comes in with little Debbie. And she's like, hey, Marion, that's my mother. Hey, Marion, how can Hey, Kenneth, Kenneth's my stepfather. How y'all doing? And she looked down at me and she said, hey, Paul, how you doing? My first name is Paul, for those of you who don't know. I started going by my middle name of Dean in my early 20s. Uh, anyway, she said, hey, Paul, how you doing? And I looked at her and I said, I'm hungry. But Mama said, we can't eat until you leave. <laughs> and so, uh, I'm sure my mother probably fell over dead. You probably couldn't drive a nail up her ass. But uh, I don't remember what happened. I don't, remember, I don't remember if I got in trouble or anything like that. But uh, that's one story that um, sticks out with me. Um, another thing is uh, Lucille, she was married to a man, Big Jack. And uh, they had a, he had a son named Little Jack. And Lucille and Big Jack had a had a fight one one time, and um, she shot him. Lucille shot Big Jack, uh, but she didn't kill him. He did not die. So, Aunt Lucille went away to prison for a little bit, and um, she got out on parole after a couple of years. And her parole officer told her she had to uh, get a job, and so she got a job at this place that was kind of shady. Um, it was run by a man named Dexter, if I remember correctly. Um, it was like you would go into this room and there's these rows and rows of tables and all these people would be sitting at these tables and they would be putting together uh, Christmas decorations. It, there was something just shady about it. I can't remember why. But um, and Aunt Lucille didn't have no car at the time, so she um, would have to get up in the morning and, and walk to this place. And she finally said, you know what, the hell with this shit. Send me back to prison. I'll finish out my sentence. I ain't got, I ain't putting up with all this. But uh, anyway, she went back to the prison and finished out her sentence. And uh, then she got out again when she finished her, her sentence. She got a job at a local convenience store and she lived in a trailer behind these convenience stores because the people who owned the convenience store also owned these trailers behind it. And the woman who owned this uh, convenience store um, I'm trying to filter out last names here. Uh, her name was Ann. And I'm going to tell you a little story about Ann real quick uh, that my mama told me. I don't remember that doing this, but uh, Ann was a real short sort of lady, woman, and she uh, looked like a cross between Tammy Faye Becker and Dolly Parton. She was a short, skinny little, skinny woman, and she had long fingernails and she had diamond rings on all her fingers and she had this big old head of hair I'm not joking with you it's like this curly blonde hair actually it wasn't her hair uh, it was a bunch of wigs I'm I'm seems like I recall they said it was like five wigs sewn together and the story was that Anne bleached her hair uh, so bad it all fell out and I guess she went crazy and she started wearing these big big wigs I mean you'd see her getting her car and driving her she would have to drive like this because her head Wouldn't fit in the car, you know, and I remember my mama telling me one time, you know We went into the store and people used to comment on the way I looked all the time and I, I don't know what happened to me but apparently I was a pretty boy and uh, She looked down at me and she said something to me and I just burst into tears. And my mom was like, what's wrong with you? And I said, that witch, that witch, she's trying to talk to me. My mom said, that ain't no damn witch. Act like you got some sense. But that just, you know, cracked me up. Um, so anyway, where was I going with? Oh, Aunt Lucille was staying in the trailer behind this convenience store. And um, it was Thanksgiving. Now, like I said, I was raised by my grandparents. And my mother lived in the same town as me, and I would sometimes spend time uh, with her. And when I got started getting a little bit older, uh, I would have Thanksgiving lunch time around noon with my mother, and then I would come home to my grandparents where I lived, and then I would have you know Thanksgiving supper with them. And this year, I'm thinking I was probably around 16. I went to Aunt Lucille's trailer for Thanksgiving, and that was the first time I had barbecued turkey. She made a barbecue turkey, and uh, they had made, um, they used to call it PJ or Hunch Punch, you know. It's that you take a cooler and you pour that alcohol in it, and the you put it, fill it full of like 
grapes and oranges and watermelon and different fruits and you would drink that and supposedly you'd get drunk eating the fruit real good and for some reason or another they let me drink that and I got lit and my mama took me back home and I walked in and they were sort of gathered around the living room and they could tell something was off with me and my grandma said what's wrong with you have you have, have you been drinking and I looked at her and I said I sure have and if you got a problem with that Aunt Lucille will shoot you <laughs> And they all cackled up, so I didn't get in any trouble over that. Um, let's see here. I made a little outlines of everything I wanted to tell y'all. So um, then one time, Aunt Lucille got this boyfriend. I think he worked at Walmart. And he had a car, and she bought him four brand new tires for his car. And she come find out he was cheating on her. So she went up to Walmart, parked next to his car, and slashed all his tires uh, before she broke up with them. Um, that's just, you know, kind of woman she was. Anyway, um, one night, Lucille, she uh, moved to another trailer. It was a trailer park, and across the street from that trailer park was a convenience store. And one night, um, she walked across the street to this convenience store to get her something, maybe some cigarettes or drinks, or I don't know what. And on the way back home, across the street, um, she was hit by a car, a hit and run driver. And she did die from uh, her injuries. And to this day, we still don't know who it was. So there is a murderer out there somewhere. But um, yeah, that was my Aunt Lucille. I wanted to tell y'all about her and tell y'all a couple of stories. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this story. I know it had a sad ending, but I hope you had a couple of laughs there. Anyway, I will try to upload more content as much as I can, but do please consider going over to my Patreon and becoming my Patreon. Again, that's uh, www.patreon.com slash Carolina Dean. And until next time, y'all have a great day. I don't know why this damn thing turns it on but won't turn it off.